What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's Smash Mode. The game is Art of Conquest. And today I want to talk about just conserving stamina, building up that stamina stack. You know, knocking out those... Knocking out those little side quests. How to do it efficiently. But before we do that, let's get this raid going. Now we are going to need Virian. I don't want to get caught without right. being to resurrect these swordsmen. At your service, my lord. And let's go. So we have the King of Nor event coming up pretty soon. And I did want to save up Lenari till I got to 50,000, but we're in a situation where I need to be as ready as possible. As ready as I'll ever be. So probably Tuesday night, um, before the event begins, I'm going to spend all that Lenari on opening chests. Oh, you better reload quick. Oh, I didn't get it off in time. Oh well. But yeah, so I'm pretty sure we're going to get through the gold chests and get to open hopefully five or six Animanium chests. And what we're hoping for is enough runes to get one of the statues to tier 3. The one that gives another 20% research. Hopefully I get a good amount of wall damage. I have not even started on the wall event yet. Um, and I'm working all weekend, so probably not going to get Lenari this weekend. But I do have Sunday off, so it's not going <laughs> to it's not going to stop us from trying. Give it a hundred percent on Sunday. And this went pretty smoothly. I know everybody wants me to always use siege. There you go. There is your standard, your standard formation with siege build. And no injuries. I don't know why I don't use siege. I just you can call me a lazy raider. Um, <laughs> that's probably it. Uh, good amount of honor. Good amount of resources. Nice. All right. So let's first start off with an easy one. Have our dark caverns, and I'll I'll do these um, with all free to play heroes. Kind of <laughs> kind of loses the point if I use someone OP. Now, Avalon, if you're playing with human, by far, by far the best hero to farm with. But mine is currently low on stamina. So we have these large units here. We want spearmen. It's going to do bonus damage to him. Get a couple healers out. And I like to use a third hero. It's best not to go over three, though, because you're going to just burn through too much stamina. And the goal also is to find formations to where you're not casting too often. I'm gonna cast just because, <laughs> because I feel like it. I found that it's significantly more difficult to find mana potions over stamina potions. And I'm not sure if this is just a me issue or if everyone else is having the same trouble. We'll do one more of these um, easier ones, and then we'll try one of the hard ones. Yeah, and the goal is just to keep your stamina fairly even on all your heroes. If you do that, there's a good chance you won't use any stamina potions. And I think it's about, on, the, on average, I would say it's about 30 to 40 stamina potions a day that you'll get from these levels. Now for this one... Um, I think we're okay using the gold swordsman. I don't believe spearmen would get to those horses fast enough. The archers will probably take them out before they do any damage. Oops, I accidentally dropped a fourth hero. Let's go. Your move. Actually, let's see if we can do this one without a spell. 
That is the goal after that. No injuries and no mana use. You want to save that mana for your attacks, your base attacks. Good. Now the best tip I can give you for farming, obviously everyone's farming at a different level. So the best thing you can do is just get to know your troops. You know, get to know what they're good against. Uh, swordsmen are very solid against archers. They're decent against most ground troops. Pretty grounded. And you have your spearmen, which are just amazing against anything large. Not good at taking range damage. <laughs> not horrible, but certainly not good. Healers, just... I don't know if they're my favorite unit, but they might be. <laughs> just good to have them around. You know, keep your troops in there for a couple more seconds. Great for farming. I'd say always, always have at least two of these in a group. Two sets of these in a group when you're farming. And if you use horses, which I don't, because I don't have Elena, you know, they're, they're awesome for taking out small troops. All right, we'll just find one of these big ones. Let's see, there we go. Also, I wanted to show you, I was surprised about this. From tier 12 to tier 13, you get 250 Lenari. That was a nice little gift. And in the past, Here we are. Now, for your larger ones, I would highly recommend. Uh, <laughs> recommend. I would highly recommend having Avalon in the mix. Let's see. You want to position the troops to where they're going to get the most from Avalon. Let's see. I'll just have them surrounded so everybody. Oh, well, everyone except, uh... We will not hold back. That's it. Uh, we want the archers over the healers getting the bonus. So there we go. They're all getting the Warhorn bonus. And for these, you want a Varian out there. He's going to give your swordsman a lot of extra health and damage. Alright, let's see how this goes. Also, though, on these, you don't have to worry as much. If anyone gets hurt, it's just going to be an injury. Which <laughs> previously used to take forever, but heal time has gotten so much better in the past few months. I remember when I lost my garrison, I swear it took over a week. This was quite some time ago. Alright, we're good on that one. So, yeah, if you're, if you're having trouble farming with uh, two or three heroes, just try to find out. You know what units you need to be using and it doesn't hurt to focus on a couple units in research oh I've never gotten that item before let's see what that is okay wow <laughs> wow I'm I'm gonna be using that thank you very much can't believe I, I haven't seen that before so in a couple days we're going to go through all this Lenari and all these Lich Coins. I'm not sure what they're called. And we're going to open a ton of these chests. Over the next few days, I'm mostly going to be playing Marvel Strike Force. Um, so I may make a couple videos about that. But on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's going to be back-to-back -back Art of Conquest videos. I thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good weekend and a great day.